Hey, what's going on everybody on YouTube? Steve here with Rake and Profit. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how to conquer your fears of going into a pawn shop. And this is gonna be video number three of this pawn shop series. And the reason why I wanna dedicate a whole video to this topic is because I get so many comments from people asking, Steve, how do I overcome my fear of going into a pawn shop? I'm scared to negotiate, I'm scared to bundle, I'm not comfortable, this and that. So I wanna dedicate a whole video to it. And it's not gonna be an overcomplicated video. The advice I'm gonna give you is just gonna be straightforward, What exactly what I did and what I would do again if um, I was brand new to the pawn shop scene. So first and foremost, the best advice I can give you if you've never gone sourcing at a pawn shop, you've only seen videos of people going in and making it happen and you're uncomfortable, my number one advice to you would be to just walk into the pawn shop. You need to start getting comfortable being in that area. So what I would do is I would walk in with the intention of not even talking to anybody, not even negotiating, not even trying to buy anything, and just walk around. Walk around the premises, You know, just look around, check out your surroundings, and just get comfortable in there. And I would do this a few times if you're really, really nervous. To be honest with you guys, it's really not that big of a deal. I feel like a lot of the fears stem from like the TV shows, seeing like these hardcore hustler employees and they're talking all fast and they're negotiating and they're making people nervous. It's not really like that in most pawn shops. To be honest with you, most people are laid back, they're chill. A lot of times the owners will be there and they're just running their business. They're just everyday people like you and I, trying to get by, trying to make some money. So there's really not anything to really be scared of. But if you are super, super terrified or maybe you're a female, um, because I know a lot of the women have been messaging me saying like I'm intimidated by the men that work there, this and that. Just go in there and start getting comfortable. Just walk around and if you're too freaked out, you could, you could walk right out. There's no big deal, they're not gonna bite you. But do that a few times and then maybe the second or third time, start looking at some stuff and you don't have to get like hardcore into the negotiations and bundling and offering cash and rejecting the return policy to get a better deal. A lot of the advanced techniques we're gonna talk about. But maybe just take a look at an item and just make an offer. And if they say no, walk away and kind of take it step by step. Step one is just walk around and get comfortable. Maybe step two is the next time you come in, you make an offer. Then maybe step three, you come in and you try to put two items together and see if they take a better deal because you're bundling. And then maybe the next time you can offer cash. There's a lot of techniques and tips and strategies for negotiating at pawn shops that I'm gonna get into in later videos in this sequence. But for the time being, you gotta just start going there. I wish, I wish, I don't know what was wrong with me, but I wish I started going to the pawn shop years ago. There were so many times where you know I couldn't make it happen at garage sales, it was dead, the thrift stores, they were cleaned out, and I wish I had somewhere else to go. Pawn shops would have been great, but it was really ignorance. I didn't think there was money to be made. I guess I was a little fear fearful because I've never gone in there before. I thought the prices were too high. Don't let these things stop you. Don't let the prices stop you. Don't let the fear of negotiating stop you. Because I know a lot of you folks watching, you're not used to negotiating. Maybe a little like garage sales, but people are kind of expecting that. But you're not used to going in and negotiating on an 80, 100, 200, $300 deal, which is quite common at the pawn shop. So step one, Go to the pawn shop, get comfortable. You don't have to make an offer. Step two, continue going until you could start making an offer, chit-chatting with people. Step three, come in, start bundling, making offers. You know, get used to getting rejected because it's gonna happen. Often at pawn shops, they're gonna say no or they're even gonna kind of make a comment, a little negative or a rude comment once in a while. It happens. These guys, not all of them, but these guys at the pawn shops are kind of rough around the edges at times. But don't let it get to you. What's the worst that could happen? That's what I always ask myself. What is the worst that could happen if you go into the pawn shop? The worst that could happen is they could say, get the heck out of here, that's a low ball offer, and you walk away, you keep your money, and they keep their product. So really, what's the worst that could happen, guys? They're just gonna say no. So start getting comfortable, go in there, make it happen, get used to the rejection, which is gonna happen now and then, and just chit chat with the people. Another tip I have for you is build relationships with these people. A lot of times people are super scared to go into the pawn shop, they're fearful, and they go in and they're negotiating with a stranger that they never talked to before, which is fine, I do it all the time, but imagine if you had gone in two, three, four times and you would talk to them, maybe you would 
you know, built a conversation around a common interest and you guys got to know each other on a first name basis. The next time you go in to actually negotiate, you're gonna be that much more comfortable. And what would you rather be doing? Negotiating with a complete stranger or someone you know, or maybe someone you consider to be a friend, right? Someone you built rapport with. So that's another tip right there, but really don't let it stop you, your fear from going into the pawn shops. There's a lot of money to be made. Just realize you're not gonna get the deal every single time. And the locations may be found not in the best areas, but really just go to the pawn shop, make it happen, get comfortable and get past your fear. And I'm gonna see you guys in the next video in this pawn shop series. So if you guys didn't watch video number one and two, make sure to check the link in the description for the first two videos of this pawn shop series. We got probably four or five more videos in this series and we're gonna be going through negotiations, relationship building, what to buy, what to sell, all that stuff. So that's coming soon, but we really had to cover this because I get this question all the time. How do I get over my fear? So hopefully this helped. I'll see you in the next video and talk soon. Bye. In this video, I wanted to answer a question that I received recently, which was, Steve, how much should I pay an employee in my eBay and Amazon business? So I'm gonna answer this question in terms of my experience and how I've done it in the past, and hopefully this can help you out. So when I was running my eBay clothing business, my buddy who you saw in the other video was coming in once or twice a week and was photographing items, was helping to measure items, clean prep items, store items, stuff like that. And I had another employee who was actually my ex-girlfriend.